We're on lap seven of nine. Oh my, that was a major two wheel. Save it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Project Cars 2. We're starting our career. I decided to choose and start in the Porsche Cayman Series in the U.S. Cup. We are in that number 50 Falcon Tires Porsche. So we are going to hop into our first race here and uh, see what it is. We have practice. Practice on, qualifying on, race. Nine laps. This is so about nine laps. So our first race is going to be here at Sonoma Raceway Short. Now I am going to show you guys the, the settings that I have found. I, we are testing this whole anti-clip to see if there is clipping issues or not. So we are here in our first race. We're going to go into options real quick. Go into gameplay, make sure everything's on authentic. Yep, yep, there we go. So as for wheel settings, we have dead zone at zero, sensitivity 100, throttle sensitivity 60, braking sensitivity we have at 70, and everything else is pretty much at default. And then for four speed back, we are on informative. We're at 60 gain, 55 volume, 55 tone, and 50 FX. So now we're going to go see how this works. We are here, I believe, in practice. So we're going to get our first practice here in our Cayman. See how this goes. Do not believe I have to use... I believe it's sequential, so I don't think I have to use clutch. Do you know Sonoma Raceway? So hopefully we will be able to do good here in our first practice session in this car. Get a feel for it. Hop into qualifying real quick and then hop into our first race. It's a really long pit road. Yeah, I don't need to use clutch. So we are on cold tires. Raw gear, but we're still good. So I am still using the H pattern, but it is isn't sequential, so... If I go down to second right away, it will automatically downshift into second. Like, he hits the paddles twice. Probably should practice on not over revving. One thing about project cars that I did miss, oh, is not that snapback. We don't want to do that. Is the helmet view that rotates to the apex, so it is nice to have that back. So I am on cold tires, so I'm trying to you know, warm these tires up a little bit. Force feedback feels good so far. We're not really getting any clipping, so that's good to know. I just want these tires to warm up. We go into this back section. A little bit of understeer. Cold tires, but we're still good. So this Cayman does handle pretty nice. Now, there is that little jogging on the straight there, but I know that part of the track is bumpy, so that's probably what it is. The wheel is not like twitching out of my hands like it was before with the old feedback settings, so either they made an update that I didn't notice, or these feedback settings that I am using are really good, and actually they feel really nice. They kind of feel like Project Cars 1 Force Feedback did, so... Ooh, that was not a bad turn. Track control's kicking on though. We go. Tires getting a little bit warmed up. Oh, except for when we do that. Don't lose it, don't lose it. So I think we're gonna hop right into qualifying so that we can 
try and get a qualifying and hop into our first race. We can use the qualifying to uh, get a feel for the car. Of course, we didn't really even finish a lap, so. We hop right into qualifying. There we go. We're not gonna make any changes. Car did feel pretty good, so. Hopefully we have warm tires. We probably don't. It's kind of sad. We are gonna have cold tires. So if you guys are on Project Cars 2 on the Xbox One, uh, try these settings out. Um, I am in a career mode. As you can see, we are starting our career mode here in this Cayman, and I'm not really getting any wheel clipping. So it's not, you know, vigorously kicking back and forth like it was before. So we are pretty good. Yeah, we have cold tires. We're gonna use this first lap to kind of warm up the tires some. Just go easy. Who cares if people pass us? Because we're gonna have to make a good hot lap. Or try to make a good hot lap. And try to get a decent qualifying position. I do like the fact that now we are sliding. We have the ability when you start your career to pick paint schemes to pick like what team you don't get like you're not limited on what contracts you get for teams you can actually choose you know the car and what team you want so that's pretty cool i'm assuming that's just for the first set i'm assuming it'll change later on when you get contracts from other car brands and such yeah the feedback on these settings feel pretty good Probably didn't need to break through that section. Oof, using every ounce of that track. We'll break on the rumble strips. We're good. So now I believe we're coming up, we're gonna be coming up to our first hot lap, so trying to be easy on the brakes, not trying to trip out the ABS that much. There we go. So we come to our first hot lap here in the first qualifying of our first career race here on Project Cars 2. If you guys want to see more Project Cars 2, don't forget to tap the like button. It does help me out. And comment down below if you guys like this and you want to see more. Or if you guys try the wheel settings, you find out it's working out for you. Oof. I don't know how that felt. That didn't feel pretty good. So I do like the fact that I can still use my H pattern and put it in the gear, but it's acting like sequential. I don't need to use clutch. I can if I need, if I want to, but I don't have to. Oh, I thought I was getting a penalty for cutting that. We're good. Now we seem to be on a decent pace because the car behind us isn't catching us and we're not losing too much ground on the car in front of us. So, well, as I say that, he gets a little bit closer. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll be in a decent lap for this first one. We're probably going to do one more hot lap because the tires are definitely warmed up now. Oof. That blind crest here at Sonoma. Oh, wait. No, we're last. By a lot. So, they sped up a lot in their racing. All right. Continue to race. No, no, no. Not restart session. Continue to race. So, well... We are here in our first race in Project Car in our career. Okay, let's do it. Oops. Uh, we're gonna restart that. I totally forgot that I need to have e brake on. E brakes on. Clutch in. There we go. And here we go. Race one of our career. Let's see if we can't get a good run through this this time. Oh, geez, that Porsche is bobbing all around. We're going to take this inside again like we did last time. Excuse me, coming through. On the outside of these cars. Don't come up. Don't come up. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Getting a little bit sketchy in traffic right now. We got these two. This makes me wish I was in third view so I could third person view so I could see, but whew, I'm seeing what I would be seeing if I was in this car. Hard brake dive in there. Don't get a penalty for cutting that. Take that. Got a nice run on that section. I gotta work on this coming section though. 
because this section is where I lose all my space. Just duck right in there. Bob over that. Just ease off the gas. Back into it. Little rumble strip. Just easing off the gas. Okay, that's better. So we just gotta ease off the gas there. There we go. Okay, so now we're up to ninth. So now we're, we're doing better than the last one. A little late on the braking, but these two guys are going to get into each other. I'm going to capitalize on that a little bit. If I can't get a run on them. And we did. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, God. One of them got put into the wall. I saw him sideways behind me. He's This guy's inside of me. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Hold on to that. Oh, I can't believe we held on to that. Oh, that guy just wrecked the other car and then tried to wreck me. Okay. So we're in seventh. We're going to try and stay here. If not, get up there higher in the grid. But I am pretty comfortable with seventh place right now for our first race here in our career. Nope. And there it was again. These cars will bite you if you're not careful. Jeez, oh man. If you are on the brakes the wrong way and not in a straight, this will definitely bite you. For sure go. Whew. To wheel that car a little bit. Probably should have downshifted. Heavy on the brake, excuse me. So I am noticing like, you got to be right on point with your brakes. Otherwise, what just happened to me earlier, spitting out, will come and grab you real quick. Trying to follow these guys' lines, get a little bit better run line. Those guys, like, break through there. Okay, so that's better. That's your fastest first sector time. Hard break move, excuse me. I think I just shunt that guy out there. I didn't hit him though. We're good. Did not hit him. Oh, I was gonna try and dive on the inside of that, but I didn't think I was gonna make it, so head ease up a little bit. Like I said, trying to run this clean as possible. Curb hops are definitely not your friend. They send you all over the place. Almost missed my gear there. Whew. So, we're not last. I know I keep saying that. Oh, excuse me. That was a little bit dirty. That was really dirty. Nice overtake? I just bumped him and you call it nice overtake? Okay. So I feel like I know what my crew chief is all about. Okay. So now we're getting in, getting in kind of a groove now. Got some really good sticky tires right now. So maybe we can climb our way back up. Run that too wide. Don't turn in the grass. Just get off the grass. Okay, we're good. We are catching these guys, though. So I think maybe we'll try changing the view up a little bit. I used to run hood view all the time in other racing games.
Oof. Here we go. A bit hard on the brakes, but we're still good. A little third, third person. Don't normally like racing in third, but we'll give it a shot. Hope it doesn't come back and bite me. Great final sector, your best so far. Here we go. Yep. I knew that was gonna come and bite me a little bit. Cause I don't have the feeling of uh, where I am on track placement. So we're gonna go back to my favorite view. Uh, the throttles are there, we're good. So, I think we're consistently going to stay in 13th. Unless these cars up front have some serious accidents. I think we're going to stay in 13th. I would love to catch up, but I think that spin put us a little bit too far back. To catch these guys. I oh, missed my acceleration zone there. Missed my apex. So now I'm just fighting to stay in this position. And on the brakes, there we go. The brake feel of this does feel really good, but. You know, I'm just glad that... Oh my gosh, those tires. I'm just glad the wheel is not clipping around on me anymore. I didn't have to do, like, some serious dead zone settings and stuff like that to get the wheel from jerking around on me. So, it is nice. The wheeling, you know, the wheel feel is pretty good. It's actually kind of like Project Cars 1 feel. A little bit better, though. So, if you guys want... I, I, once again, I will show you guys the wheel settings I'm using at the end again so you guys can maybe if you are running logic g920 you guys can switch to these settings and give it a go think about the fending oh they're right on me i'm sitting here chit chatting and these guys are like right on me right now oh that car got so bouncy oh my gosh I thought I was just going to bounce and spin out again, because that's exactly where I spun out last time. I think it's because I curb hopped and bounced a little bit. When you do it right, this car will run very nice. But if you make one little mistake, it'll bite you. But that's what Project Car 2 is all about. It's, you know, the realism and, you know, how the cars actually act in the game are how they would act. Like, if you, you know... You know, curve hop some of these GT cars, you know, you'll just start bouncing and you will bounce into another car or whatnot. That's why being in traffic in the beginning of the race was so sketchy. I just wish I wouldn't have spun out because I probably would be right up there with these guys now that I have a good feeling and a good flow on this game right now. Now we know a bunch of people are probably saying, oh, what's with the gloves? You know, try hard. You know, it's, I think it's because I'm gripping the wheel so hard, but and because it's a metal metal wheel that, you know, the spokes hurt after a while. If you're, like, gripping it really hard on these spokes like I am, you know, they can hurt after a while. That's why I think I gotta, I think I gotta make a wheel change to maybe a suede wheel with uh, maybe a different design. Of course, it's gonna be an NRG Innovations wheel, of course. Go. We're on lap seven of nah. Oh my, that was a major two wheel. Save it. We just completely two wheeled that car. Oh my gosh. Oh, how did we not die? Like, legit, how did we not die? <laughs> what? So don't curb hop on those curbs. Do not. Those curves will seriously bite you. Especially that curve right there. Because I got bitten there twice already. And that one was an incredible save. Here we 
go. Oh, just a tap. Didn't want to actually just tap that, but we just tapped it. Two laps to go. We're just going to fight to hold 13th because we're not going to get any higher, but we can stay where we're at. No. Pushed up a little bit too much. Oof. And I think I, what I like the most about this is, is since it's classed racing, the cars are all the same. So if you make a mistake and get pat, it, you know, you really got to, you know, hammer your lines just to catch up to these guys. Like, I'm probably not doing too bad, but, you know, these guys are staying behind me, but I'm still so off the pace. And they've just gotten ahead of me. Don't toot wheel it again. Oof. They've gotten so far ahead of me that I can't catch back up. But these guys behind me, you know, they're sticking with me. I don't know if they're just because they can't pass me or if I'm blocking them, but they're not they're not gaining ground on me. They're gaining ground a little bit here and there, but not much. Easy gentle on the brakes, trying not to lock up and engage our ABS if we don't have to. You don't always just want to cram on the brakes, you want to be easy on the brakes. Easy on the throttle. That's why I love wheel setups, because you can modulate everything. Oops, a little red line. Good. Coming up, I believe, to the last lap here of our first race. So, not too bad. I mean, we had a little bit of an issue with the spin out, and I finally alleviated that and figured out how to d not do that but you know a little bit too late here in the race we're gonna take this race though so I'm not gonna restart it and you know do it because it is our first race of our career so we're just gonna keep this and just you know show our team you know team Falcon since we're on Falcon Tires team that you know the next race we can do better and it was just like maybe a one race mishap so if you guys want to see more here on Project Cars 2 don't forget to tap like button and subscribe if you have not already done so I do appreciate the support. And if you guys do try the wheel settings, let me know what you guys think. It's a good basic starting, and you can modify it from there how you see fit. But because it got rid of the clipping here in the career mode, I can actually race the career mode and enjoy the game for what it is and what it's worth, which is incredible racing simulation. So Matt Studios has done incredible work on this game. The car list, the track list is phenomenal. And we're coming up to the final turn here of our first career race. Definitely going to be continuing this career in this Porsche. And maybe see what else we can get into in our career mode. There we go. First race in the bag. 13th. Ooh. Race complete. Cooldown lap active skip from pause menu i think we're actually gonna take our cooldown. oh we're getting tapped so as always guys you know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on project cars 2 before we go let me show you guys wheel settings again so we have steering dead zone we put up to 100, we put throttle sensitivity to 60, brake sensitivity to 70, which feels really good. Clutch sensitivity and everything else is pretty much stock. I say stock, default. And then we are on uh, informative, we are on 60 gain, 55 volume, 55 tone, and 50 FX. And we left our menu spring to zero. So like I said, guys, if you guys want to see more here on Project let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys are racing in the same car did you guys win your first race did you come in 13th did you come in last you know how'd you guys do in your first race of your career because i think i'm on a pretty high difficulty so that's probably why i placed where i did other than the fact that i spun out so because i was doing pretty good in the beginning of the race you know dodging through traffic dipping in you know follow my line you know racing cleanly and you know aggressively which is the point of this game you know i wanted to race this game cleanly i don't want to be bashing into all the cars everything on that we are just on our cooldown parade laps right now 
because we're going to be going into pits to end this race off. I did keep this on because it's kind of a cool feature, you know. At the end of the race, it just doesn't go to a cutscene, you know. You can actually, you can skip it if you want, but why not? Come behind this guy. What's up, buddy? So, like I said, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm Evil Rabbit, and they just took control, so I'm out.